What's up, YouTube? Zach is back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon White. This is episode number 23. Sorry if I sound horrible. Allergies are kicking my ass today. I'm not even going to lie. Ah. So, in this episode, we've got the dragon-ish uh, gym. And I, I'm going to be honest to you, I have pretty much, you know, Hidalgo and Archie. So they're kind of they're gonna play some some big roles. Hey, are you a TM guy? No, you're not a TM guy. Okay. So uh, kind of depressing, but at the same time, you know, whatever. I mean, I'll get I'll get Shofu some work in, I guess. Maybe sometime during this episode. I mean, I usually do because you know, like a boss. Okay, not going that way. Um, where's the gym? Oh, there's the gym. I, I fucking hate this gym. I'm gonna rage so much in this. I'm sorry, guys, if I do. I just, like, just, damn it. There's just so much to do in this gym. I'm gonna end up running in and out because I'm gonna get worked here. So, um, yeah. So, first guy here to fight. And, uh, yeah. We get to carve our own path. Cool for you, bro. I'm just gonna breathe in your face with that dragon's breath. So he sends out Fracture, and I'm like, hey, I've got Hidalgo, he's definitely better than your Fracture. Or at least he will be, eventually. So I use Dragon Breath, because I outspeed like a boss. And it's going to be super effective. And uh, it doesn't kill him, but I get the pair hacks. And uh, he Dragon Dances, because he thinks he's going to be faster than me. I'm like, lols, I paralyzed you, so it don't matter. And um, so basically, um, this guy's level 41. And that scares me because this is just an ace trainer and not even the gym leader. So, uh, got some major training to do in here. So, uh, yeah. Take down ace trainer one without even losing any life. Um, I stepped on. Okay, that's not a button. Um, okay, following the snaky tail like thing. And, uh, oh, okay, I have to go this way. I jump over the thing. And, uh, can I go this way? Nope, can't go this way yet. Gotta run over here. I battled this trainer here. Are you an ace trainer too? Or are all you people going to be ace trainers? Because I, I dislike you very much, so. Yeah, you're an ace trainer. And she sends out a dino, and I'm like, Lols, that's not even an evolved version. And I'm like, wait, I have a doggo, and he's not evolved yet. But who cares? Hidalgo's going to do work. I am going to Dragon Breath because I outspeed. That is super effective, not stab, and it does three quarters. But he tries to work up. Because for some reason, these dragon types like to set up on me, and, uh, yeah, he's not gonna outspeed me. So I'm gonna hit him again with Dragon Breath, and that's a dead dino. I call him Dino because I say the E is silent, because it sounds wrong the other way. So, uh, yeah, what an ace trainer you are. Not a good one. Um, anyway. Raising that claw like I know I can, and, uh, your head turns. So cool for you, buddy. I'm gonna run this way, and okay, I can't run that way, so I'm gonna run this way and uh, jump off of his face, and uh, I got another ace trainer to battle here. So uh, lots of ace trainers in this one. So uh, getting a lot of training in here, you know, with my uh, with my pokes, and uh, he's got a fracture, and I already know I'm not gonna one shot it unless I crit, and uh, I send out. Uh, Archie, and Archie's going to Dragon Breath. You know what I just thought about? That last gym leader gave me an Ice-type move, and I didn't even think about it twice. He Dragon Dances, so he's probably going to outspeed me. Um, let's see, is he going to outspeed me? Nope, he doesn't outspeed me. That is one slow son of a bitch. Anyway, I hit him in the face with that Dragon Breath, so it's like, bro, why are you trying to set up on me, and you know you can't? You're a good dancer and all, but you're just not going to set up on me. So he wants to send out another Fracture, and uh, yeah, I was going to send out Hidalgo, but uh, I'm kind of against that at this point in time, because this guy's slow, slow as hell, and uh, Axu's definitely not going to be any faster, so. Dragon Breath, it's going to do like three quarters again, and I get the Parahax this time, so come on bro, Dragon Dance. Yeah, you Dragon Dance for no reason, because I'm still going to outspeed you, you damn noob. Huh, <sighs> anyway. Cool for you, you tried to set up on me, I'm just going to acrobatics because it's going to kill you anyway. And that's dead fracture. I'm going to try an acrobatics the next one to see how much it will actually do. Because stab and all that. 
Um, yeah, so took you out. Hidalgo still hasn't leveled up. That's kind of depressing. So I'm going to jump down here. That's going to hit the button. And it's going to raise his other paw, and he's going to go up. The head's going to go up top there, and uh, i got to follow some more paths. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um... TMs here. Got to look at these TMs. Shadow Ball, Sunny Day, Fling, Charge Ball, Acrobatic, Shadow Claw, Struggle Bug, Frost Breath. What? Who is... Nobody can learn it. Okay, so, uh... Yeah. Whatever, I guess. And, uh... Running, running, running. Till we get to the next battle. And it's another Ace Trainer. I mean, it is the 8th gym battle. I mean, I guess it should be pretty difficult. Uh, if you're uh, catching on there, that's called sarcasm. I haven't taken damage yet because these guys keep trying to set up on me for some reason. Oh, man. Damn allergies. So I'm going to acrobatics and see how much it'll actually do. Stab super boosted and it does literally the same amount of damage that a acrobatics would do or that a dragon's breath would do if not maybe a little bit more so uh yeah i'm just gonna uh go ahead and pluck this guy here or he outspeeds me interesting he dragon claws i'm pretty sure i resist it because i'm rock or not uh, he cuts right on fucking through me so uh yeah i might as well just uh send out shofu here and uh Kinda hope it's Shofu will outspeed, but if not, I'll just send out uh, Thomas to hit the ability. So he hits me with a taunt, because, you know, when you're low, I guess instead of killing me, you're just gonna taunt me. Punch you in the face with a fire punch, and, you know, unaffected, er. Not effective, not very effective, my bad. And, uh, he dies anyway because I'm a boss. Um, yeah, Hidalgo levels up. And Hidalgo is finally going to evolve. Yes! You are evolving into a little baby dinosaur and do something awesome. Okay, dinosaur, dragon. Okay, get my facts straight here, sorry. Speed up, do it, do it, speed up. And I got me one of those fracture guys, fracture type guys. Blam! Hidalgo's a fracture. Cool, so I got Fracture now. I'm gonna switch him to the front because he can, and you know, Archie's dead, so I might as well. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna run over here and hit this next button for this next dragon. And uh, I'm gonna pause real quick so I can blow my nose, so you guys don't have to hear all the nasty stuff. Be right back. Alright, anyway, I'm back. Click on screen real quick, and uh, I don't gotta go this way, I gotta jump. Okay, I run in this way, and I get into a battle with this dude. I'm pretty sure he's like a veteran or whatever. He's got like a really over-leveled Pokemon that's going to probably crush Hidalgo. But I got my hopes up. Hidalgo is uh, is going to fight this Dredagon here. Okay, he's only like four levels up on Hidalgo. Um, yeah, Hidalgo looks like he's got a mustache. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to Dragon Claw, and I outspeed like a boss. I'm pretty sure I got some pretty nice stat boost for evolving, and uh, I take him to like three quarters of his life. But he has rough skin, so he hits me in the face, or I hit myself a little bit, and uh, he hits me, and that's gonna kill me probably. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured. Um, Hidalgo dies, which is kind of depressing, but uh, I somewhat had an idea. I'm gonna bring in Shofu, and uh, basically just thrash in his face. Punch him in the face, all around. Pow, kicks and punches and stuff. And that is a dead Dredagon. And, uh, yeah, so I get 3,000 XP for that, so that's cool. And, uh, basically what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna revive my guys, because I have revives. I have 11 of them. So, revive Hidalgo. Hidalgo needs a couple more levels before he gets to the front. Um, damn it, I want a hyper potion, my guys. Hidalgo, get that hyper potion. Archie, get that hyper potion. And, uh, attack stat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there you go, Hidalgo. There you go, buddy. Um, HP up. Um, who do I want to give that to? I'm gonna give that to my mask, because 
He's gonna be bulky as shit, you know, because that's what he does. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna move Hidalgo back to the front, or not Hidalgo, Archie back to the front, because he's fast and all that good stuff. Run over here and all that and such and such and such. Jump off, raise his other paw, and move his head probably again. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I get poked. Um, basically just going to sign out of TeamSpeak. Sorry, anyway. Um, got stuffs to do. Um, who do I go to? Go this way, I guess. And, uh, run down here and, uh, got a battle. Got another battle. Oh, I hate annoying people who go in and try and pop shit up for my screen. I don't know why. I was in the recording channel. I mean, God, that's annoying. Anyway, he sends out a dino thingy my bob and I send out my Archie, and I'm like, God dang it, you're not worth anything. So I hit him with Dragon Breath. Should bring him pretty close to the down low. And, uh, yeah, I get the pair hacks. And, uh, he's paralyzed and can't move, so, uh, I'm gonna crunch. And it should deal like the 5 HP or whatever that he has left. And down goes Dano, and that's like 400 XP a piece or something like that. Which doesn't move my guy anywhere. So he's got Fracture. And, uh. I'm gonna hit him with Acrobatics. Acrobatics is gonna do a nice chunk, probably like three quarters. And, uh. You know, yeah, he Dragon Dances. Even though he's not going to, uh. Kill me anyway, I don't think. He might. He might outspeed me. I'm gonna pluck. I. Oh, I have fly. Herp, de derp, de derp, de derp. I forgot about these things. So I hit him in the face with fly. That was a waste of time. And, uh, yeah, Archie hits level 40. So, yeah, go Archie. He wants to learn Endeavor. Um, no thank you. Um, yeah, more, more XP for Hidalgo. He wants to send in Drudagon. I'm gonna pass. And, uh, I'm going to Dragon Breath and kind of cross my fingers that I get a Paralyzed here. Um, I hit him in the face and I just get a crit instead. That works too. So, down goes Dredagon. Lots of XP there. And Ace Trainer Tom is down. So, running down, running down this, these long paths. Hitting claws and such. Blam. That does that is not gonna lift you up yet though, so gotta run this way. Um Did I have to run this way? I don't know if I had to run this way. Damn it. See this is what I mean. I'm running down these paths, I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. Damn it. Okay, this is gonna move this back over, I think. Alright, alright. I was supposed to do that. I was supposed to do that. Okay, so I gotta battle this girl. I'm sure she probably has some weak as shit, like Dano or a fucking fracture or something. Excuse my French. And uh, yeah, she sends out a Dano, like I said. And I'm gonna hit it with a uh, acrobatics, and it'll probably kill it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit it with an acrobatics, and uh, it's gonna do a nice chunk. It does, you know, its life. And that's a dead dino. And uh, Hidalgo is probably pretty close to uh, leveling up again. So uh, I'm going to keep the XP share on him until he's about 40. And then uh, spread it around. Get all my pokes around 45 before I try and take out the Pokemon League and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I Dragon Breath. Hit him with a Paralysis. But he hits me with a Dragon Claw. And I'm pretty sure these things are pretty uh, packing a punch. Um, yeah, so he packs a punch a little bit, and I'm, I'm only Dragon Breath in here because he's got that rough skin, and I don't want to take... Okay, that did nothing to him that time. What the hell, did I get a crit last time? Okay. That was interesting. Um, he just took no damage, so I'm going to bring in Hidalgo, and uh, yeah, Hidalgo's pretty much going to finish the job here with the uh, Mold Breaker and such, and uh, hit him with a Dragon Claw. And that's another dead uh, Dredagon here. Blam! But, uh, it's okay because the dog is gonna get all the XP for this one. It's like three grand, not two grand. And, uh, he's about to level up, so it's cool. 
So I've got to uh, revive my Archie because he died again, unfortunately. And uh, don't I have like some fresh water or something in here? Yeah, I've got fresh water in here. So I'm going to give it to him because he's only like 50 health down. And uh, yeah, jumping on off. And that should lift his head up to the top, which it does. And uh, I can run this way. Which should take me pretty much to the, I want to say the final gym leader guy thingy, maybe, possibly. Oh, okay, there's another veteran. Um, huh. Okay. Oh, it's a lady. Wow, that looked like a man. Okay, anyway, she sends out a fracture. I'm like, okay, go Archie. And, uh, yeah, Archie, it doesn't look like he's about to level up anytime soon here. Um, I acrobatics. Hit this fracture, and it, uh, takes it down to, like, nothing. So, uh, I'm gonna hit it with a crunch, and that should take it down. Um, as long as I outspeed, which I do not. But he taunts me, so it's okay, because I don't have, like, stealth rocks or anything on this guy that I'm gonna use. So I crunch, and let's KO. And I got a useless crit is useless. And, uh, yeah, dead, dead Haxorus, dead Haxorus. Hidalgo grows to level 39, awesome. She's about to send in Fracture, and I'm like, whatever. And, uh, I'm gonna Acrobatics again. Going to Acrobatics again. This one's a little bit power more powerful, I think, than the last one. Um, no, about the same. So, he Dragon Dances, and he's gonna outspeed me because he's level 41. And, uh, I'm gonna crunch, so as long as he... Okay, he Dragon Claws. That's probably gonna kill me, unfortunately, but that's the damn truth. Plus one Dragon Claw? Yeah, that hurts a little bit. Oh, and he gets a crit, just to top it off. So, uh, instead of bringing in, uh, Hidalgo, I'm gonna bring in Thomas, and I'm just gonna Aqua Jet and kill it. Because I'm pretty sure Aqua Jet will kill it. I'm gonna cross my fingers that Aqua Jet will seriously do, like, ten damage. Because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be, like, a little irritated. A little bit. Uh, yeah, so I hit it with Aqua Jet, and it dies. It, it dies. So, I'm a little happy about that, but at the same time, I don't really care. Thomas gains some XP, Hidalgo gains some XP, and yeah, there's there's that. Um, I don't think I have anybody else left in the gym to battle. I'm going to jump off here, hoping that lifts me up to the gym leader, which it should, and it does. And now it's time for a gym fight. And, um, yeah, so basically... It's going to be, I'm, I have a feeling this is going to be clean up Isle Shofu, honestly. I really do. So, uh, yeah, I'm bringing in a Hyper Potion, hit Archie with that. And uh, let's see if we can even fight this lady. I might have to do off-screen training, because she's going to, I have a feeling she's going to whoop my ass. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to battle her in this episode. And she's got her tongue sticking out, because she's a cool lady and all. And she's got big hair, very big hair. So she's in that fracture. And uh, I'm gonna just okay. It's not any stronger than the ones we've seen before, so I'm just gonna dragon or uh, yeah, dragon breath, and then acrobatics to take it out. Unless she hyper potions or something, in which case, whatever. So I hit him in the face. And it takes it down, and I get the pair hacks like a boss. He gets paralyzed. Um, yeah, you feel the pain of your Pokemon. I'm sure she's probably gonna full restore a hyper potion. She hyper potions. I don't care because she's still paralyzed as long as she doesn't full restore. And I hit the acrobatics, and that's going to do like three quarters. And I'm just going to crunch, just to save myself some... Oh, or she's going to hyper potion again. Um, so I'm going to crunch, and then I'm going to be able to kill it off with acrobatics, probably. More than likely. 100% sure. And, uh, yeah, that's a dead uh, Haxorus, or Fracture. See? I'm jumping, jumping to a conclusion. And, uh, yeah, thanks for all that XP, please. Please and thank you. So she wants to send in Drudagon. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Because this thing is bulkier than shit. So uh, I'm going to go for Dragon Breath. And cross my fingers that I get a pair of hacks. Which I do not. She hits me with a Dragon Tail. And uh, wow, that was cool, I guess. So she brought me up to my own hacks, or, or my own fracture. And just hoping that I actually outspeed, which I do. And hoping that I go for the kill, hit it with the Dragon Claw, and I get the kill. Nice. You have rough skin, though, I'm sure, so it's going to hit me. No, you don't have rough skin? All right, cool. 
So she's about to send in Haxorus, which scares me. Um, I'm going to send out Archie, and I'm going to go for the Dragon Breath. Just cross my damn fingers that I actually hit the Parahax. God, that thing is just mean looking. Um, yeah, you're cool. You have a level 43 Haxorus. I don't even think it levels up there. Um, I hit it with Dragon Breath. It does absolutely nothing. He Dragon Dances. Oh shit, he's setting up on me. He's setting up on me. This isn't fair. This is not fair. I hope I outspeed. I go for the Dragon Breath. He goes for assurance for some reason. And uh, yeah, he, he definitely outsped me. So I'm going to go to Hidalgo. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm about to get swept by level 43 Haxorus because he Dragon Danced on me. Um... I'm gonna go for Dragon Claw, and I outspeed it? Um, okay. Oh, and he lives with a smidgen! A frickin' smidgen of smidgenes and smidgens. That's obnoxious. I'm gonna go to Shofu. And pray to God that she doesn't use a health potion. Or a hyper potion. So I'm gonna throw a thrash out there. He DDs for God knows what freaking reason, and clean up Bio Shofu. Shofu's gonna hit him in the face with a thrash, and uh, yeah, so I clean up. That is a dead Haxorus, and you know, Shofu's gonna get 5,000 experience because pff, Shofu loves that XP. So uh, that wasn't very challenging at all, sorry. Um, so you give me this here dragon type badge thingy, and uh, you're gonna give me Dragon Tail, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you're gonna give me Dragon Tail, but uh, yeah, it's all eight badges, man. Um, yeah, now you're gonna give me Dragon Tail. That's cool. That's cool. And uh, yeah, Mr. Alder doing. Um, I'm gonna go. Yeah, okay, so I can go to the Pokemon League and whatnot. Um, TP on out of here. Um, that is the episode for now. Um, oh wait, Juniper. Juniper's got this. Um, she has to deem me worthy. Okay, that's cool. Um, what are you, what are you doing here? Are you just trying to show me where I'm supposed to go next? Um, maybe, possibly. Pass through here and you'll revive at the badge check gates. You're finally at the Pokemon League. Do I? Do you regret setting out on your journey? No. Why would I regret it? I got, I got my freaking pokes. Oh, and she just, she just hands me a Master Ball. She's like, Merry Christmas, Zack. Have a Master Ball. I'm pretty sure in the last ones I actually had to work for it. I mean, although I did just win the 8th gym badge, but whatever. Um, yeah, going to go and heal up my pokes. And, uh, yeah, that'll be the episode. Um, hope you guys enjoyed taking down the 8th and final gym leader. Now all we got is the Elite Four and N, and uh, yeah, our journey's over, unless you guys want to see me catch some legendaries, but uh, you know, that, that kind of sounds boring. So um, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.